Yes, you can solve for simple linear equations with a graphing calculator. We can even deal with more than one variable, but let's start real simple. And we'll make a bunch of videos breaking down all the aspects of this. Um, but here, the first thing to know is that if you're solving for x on a graphing calculator, this is the TI-83 or above, and maybe some earlier models as well, but you have to write, at least on these models, um, the equation where it's equal to 0. So if you're given something like x plus 2 is equal to 1, you have to write this, rewrite this equation so that x plus something is equal to 0. So if you balance this equation, you would subtract what from each side? Well, you would subtract 1, right? Because if you subtract 1 from this side, that equals 0. Subtract 1 from this side, and you get a new equation. You get x plus 1 equals 0. Once you have this format, the graphing calculator can solve for your variable. Now, how do you do this? Well, to solve for an equation, you can't be in your, well, you can be in your home window, but we'll get back to that. There are a couple ways to do this. In this video, the way we're going to solve it is press the math button, and then if we scroll down towards the bottom, it's usually the zero command here, uh, but in some calculators like this one, it's the B command, which is solver. Just look for that word solver. Hit enter, and now this is what will pop up. Notice it says zero equals, and you need to enter in your equation. So if we enter in something like 2x, right, minus 6, that's equal to zero. We're doing a different equation here. And press enter, this pops up. Well, what's happening? Well, the bound right here is where the calculator will look for your answers. And you can narrow this bound down, the range of numbers that it's choosing from, but the it does start out really huge and should encompass the numbers you'll be working with. This is negative 1 times 10 to the 99th. You can imagine it's a very, very uh, large negative number. And here, 1 times 10 to the 99th, the opposite, a very large positive number. Um, so it's going to look between those two ranges for answers. You can change that range if you want your calculations to go faster. Um, but for simple equations like this, it's not going to really matter. Now how do you solve? Well, what you do is you hover over your variable and the value, like I'm doing right now, and press alpha, the alpha button, and then enter, where it says solve. And so it's alpha solve. And what it does is it, well, it solves it for you, right? x is equal to 3. And you know it's solved and it works if you see this square here. And then the second test is right here. Left minus right is equal to 0. All that's saying is the left side of the equation minus the right side of the equation equals 0. As it should, because if two things are equal, what happens when you subtract them? Well, any two things that are equal, when you subtract them, you get 0. And remember, with these equations, you're trying to balance them, which means both sides are equal. In other words, if you subtract one side from the other, you get zero. Now, if you want to try again, just scroll up until you get this equ equation solver again. So if you press 3x minus 6, let's go over this one more time. If you want to solve it, um, what you can do is also guess a value to help the calculator solve this. So let's say I think the answer is going to be um, 3. Well, I'll say 4. Well, <laughs> sorry. Let's say 4. That's my guess. Then when you hit alpha solve, this might actually speed up the process a little bit. So you have that opportunity to guess to help the calculator find the correct answer. All right, hope that helps.